Okay, the big deal on this one is like terms. In fact, I put some artwork in it explaining to you how much, how important it is to know what a like term is. Okay, I'll give you the written definition and then talk about it. Like terms are terms that have the same variables, same letters, in the same form or in equivalent forms. I might be losing you at this point. So that the terms represent the same number regardless of the non-zero values assigned to the variables. Regardless of the non-zero values assigned to the variables? What? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Normal language. Like terms are terms that have the exact same letters and exponents. They have the exact same letters and exponents. Okay. That's what they mean by variables of the same form. So let me show you, um, well, we're going to actually add some together. Well, let's just find like terms in this, okay? Remember, we have one, two, three, four, five terms in this expression here. And two of them are, two. there's two pairs of like terms, okay? Remember, they have to have the same letters and exponents. They do not have to have the same coefficient. Remember what a coefficient was? 3 is a coefficient, 5. The coefficient of this one is sneaky. It's actually negative 1. The coefficient of this is 2, and the coefficient of this is negative 5. Okay, so what I like to do is go ahead and circle like terms. Now I see x, sing, an x, so they have the same letters and exponents. So what else, what else of these just has x? That would be this. And notice how I circle the sign out in front. So that makes a big difference if there's a negative out in front. So those two guys are like terms. Okay, do we have any other like terms? Um, well, like I said, there's another pair. Look at these two. They each have an X and a Y. Now they're out of order. Does that mean anything? Can you be out of order in multiplication? You can. So this is actually, if we wrote this one alphabetically, correct, it would be 2xy, right? And now we can see that it's the same, it's a like term with negative xy. Okay, now they didn't tell us to just identify like terms, did they? They want us to actually add them. Okay, so let's take the two that we found first, add those guys together. 3x and negative 5x. Well, we have a positive and a negative, so we take this away from this, so it's going to be negative 2 is their coefficient, and they have an x. See how nothing changed? We just added or subtracted the coefficient. Okay, now for this one, let's combine the like term here and here. We have a negative 1. I'm going to write it in just so you see it. A negative 1 and a positive 2. Well, a negative 1 and a positive 2 is a positive 1 xy. We can write x1 xy if we want the training wheels for a minute, okay? Now, what about this guy? This Here, I'm going to triangle him so you see him different. What about this term? Does he get to play? Is there anyone that's alike with him? No, there are no other single num numbers. So he is not a like term with anybody else. He's a loner. Like terms are very picky. They only want to go with their own group. Okay, to simplify this, I'm going to get rid of the 1 in front of the xy because they are the same thing. This is the answer when we add like terms. Now, we are stuck here at this point. Nobody is alike, so no one can combine. This looks almost like this one, but it's not because this doesn't have a y. So they are different tribes. They're not going to group up. They're like, you stay over there, I'll stay over here, and we'll stay happy, okay? But like terms like to get together and be together. Okay, example two. Let's identify like terms in this. We have a 3xy plus 2xyz, so already I know these two are not like, because this has a z, this does not, minus 10yx. Oh, but I am noticing that yx is the same as xy. So right away I'm looking, oh, Okay, I see these two are like terms. Minus 5 yzx. Now, are those different order but the same as this? Yes. 
So what I like to do is circle these two, so I keep keep track. I'm going to circle those two like terms, and how about box these like terms? So now I can see who's alike and who's different, and then I'm going to go ahead and combine them. A positive 3, and I'm going to keep it x, y, like alphabetical order. So positive 3 and a negative 10 is negative 7xy. Okay? And then a positive 2 and a negative 5 is negative 3xyz. Now these two terms are not alike. They're not like so everyone, they're like, all right, we're done. We are not going with that group, and that group is not going with that group. We're done. We are simplified. Okay? Um, try the same thing on this. See if you get the hang of it. Now remember, coefficients that are alone with no letters are also like. So I'll just tell you 4, 5, and fi negative 15. Those three see each other across the room and they said, all right, let's get together. We're stuck here with all of these letters. Let's group up. So they do get to go together. Okay, so I see that 7mxy is actually a like term with this one. They just have them um, out of alphabetical order. This should be mxy. They're doing that purposely to see if they can trick you. So 7 and 3 make 10 mxy. And then we've got our 4, our 5, and our negative 15. So I see 9 and a negative 15 is going to be negative 6. Okay. Now, if you didn't do this in pre-algebra, this might be quite a lot. So just hang in there. Don't stress. I'm going to try ooh, a bigger one. Again, all we're doing is basically organizing, right? We're looking for things that are alike. Okay, we've got 3x. I'm going to go ahead and write this so you see it. They're invisible, but they are there. If there is a nothing in front, then it is a 1. Okay, so we have 3x minus 1x minus 1y plus 5 minus 2y minus 3x minus 10 minus 8y. All right, so I see some single x's and some single y's and then some single numbers. Okay, so I'm going to circle the x's. There's an x. There's an x. Now, as you get good at this, you won't necessarily need to circle anymore, but I'm doing it just so you can visually see those three like terms. Nobody else is x, so just these three guys go, okay, let's let's get together. So um, let's go ahead and do these two first. Positive 3 times negative 1 is negative 3x. Okay. Sorry, did I just say times? Um, a positive 3 t plus negative 1 is a 2x. So sorry, I was um, getting away from myself. So that's a 2x and a minus 3x. 2x minus 3x. Okay, 2 and a negative 3 is a negative 1x. Okay, and now I see my y's, so maybe put a different shape around the y's. We have a negative 1, a negative 2, and a negative 8. All of them are negative, so we got 1 plus 2 plus 8 is 11, so it's negative 11y. And then I see the 5 and the negative 10 is negative 5. Okay, now in order to make this nice and neat, I'm going to go ahead and take that one off just because it's it's like having your training wheels on when you show up to like high school. It's like take them off before you show up, okay? There we go. Okay, and there it is, simplified. Same exact deal on the next one. See how you do. Um, I'm going to take this one and this one. And then it looks like these two are alike. And then these are alike. There we go. Okay, so I'll do the X and Y's first. A positive 1 and a positive 8. 9 M X Y. Okay, now the Y's. I have a negative 1 and a negative 3. Okay. And then a negative 3, a negative 5, and a negative 14. So together that's a negative 8, negative 22. Okay, go ahead and try the next four. 
and then check your answer in the back or go ahead and watch me go through this. But I'm going to go slow and you probably don't want to wait. So check your answers and begin. All right, so here I am going to go slow. I see X's here and XY's here and then a four by yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna deal with the next negative xy is, or the negatives, they're both negative. So we should have negative six xy, a positive three and a minus two is plus x plus four. There we go. Okay, this one, those two are alike, this one not quite. Positive two and negative five is negative three x y z plus three x y now in the back of the book they might have this term in front of this term and it's the same answer this is also correct okay so if you see it different order you're, it's still correct okay or if this was in a different order as long as the um, terms have with them the correct letters okay all right, this one, those guys are like, so I got 9ACY minus 2AC because he didn't have anyone to go with, okay? Or we could have negative 2AC plus 9ACY. Or your letters might be a little different order. I just put them alphabetical so that I kind of stay continual, I mean, I consistent that way. Okay, I see my X and then x, y's, and then a lonely 4. So I'm going to deal with the x's. Negative 1 and plus 3 is 2x. Negative 2 and negative 7 is negative 9 x, y, plus 4. And those might be in different order. That's OK. All right, there we are. And Good luck with that. I really, uh, we're going to practice this quite a bit. I might even give some worksheets pretty soon for those of you taking live classes with me. If not, go ahead and email me and ask for those worksheets and I'll be happy to send you a link.